Hey guys, um, here working on the 12 valve. So we're part nine now. Um, got the the head in the mill. And we're gonna cut the O-ring grooves and see how long that's gonna take. <clears throat> kind of getting closer to the end of the day here on a Saturday for me. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna cut the O-ring grooves, put the install the O-rings, and then uh, if we have time. I'm gonna to check to see what our installed heights and all that stuff is to see if we have to adjust anything. And then I gotta do a little bit of polishing. I haven't cleaned, finished cleaning the uh, the port out here. It's not too bad. It looks worse in the video than it actually is. But I gotta do a little tiny bit of cleaning there. So I will, uh, I'm gonna put this back on time-lapse now. Oh, I guess I should show. So um, this is now, there's more than one way to do this, but we do it on the mill for when we're doing 12 valves. I do have a jig for doing it. So when we do fire rings, we use the jig. Um, which I do have a video on, but <clears throat> we will, uh, we're gonna cut the O-rings with this. Um, so basically all I do is just, you just level the head in the mill and it's got a, you know, gutter bolted down. You level the head in the mill and then we're gonna cut a receiver groove, um, 39, 39 thou receiver groove, uh, and then you hammer a 41 thou piece of wire in there. Um, and on these ones, we're gonna cut a 28 thou groove. So, um, We'll get after it here. I'll get these things cut and uh, we'll get the wire hammered in there and uh, we'll go on to the next process. So you can just see me, I'm centering them, the grooves up off of the head gasket and then go into the next one. You cut the receiver groove um, 28 thou deep. Um, not really too much other than that. You just have to make sure that you get everyone very, you know, relatively consistent. All right, guys, got the receiver grooves all cut. Put the O-rings in. Thing went no problem. Yeah, you can see me in the video. I, I know at the time lapse it's hard, but basically you just center, I center the O-ring grooves off the gasket. Um, you want to fall pretty close to the middle. I like to go just a little bit on the smaller side versus the middle. Um, and then you just line it up and... So now I'm just gonna take, uh, I'll, I'll put it back on time-lapse for this. Um, I'm just gonna take a couple minutes and just clean out the exhaust ports a little bit, just make sure that one is all good and cleaned out. And then uh, we'll put the O-ring in. I'm gonna throw it in the washer for 10, 15 minutes. And then um, I'm not gonna bore you with guys with cleaning or just washing it and blow and drying it. Um, then we'll put, um, we'll check some valve stuff at that point. So I'm going to throw you guys back on time lapse and then um, I will, I'll come back um, maybe on the last O-ring. I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to, how I install those. Just uh, see me with the die grinder there and cleaning out the holes, wire wheel on the end of the die grinder. Um, not really rocket science, but I need to stretch the imagination. And then uh, after that, I... Uh, just chase the holes with the tap on the the exhaust manifold side and air blow it off then you see me setting the rings and i'll be right here and i'll show you the last one all right guys putting the last one in here just to show you guys so it's just a stainless steel wire flat end you always want to put the your parting line away from coolant or that's how i always do it just because there is always a little bit of a, just depends. Some guys, some guys do an angle cut on them, and you can do an angle cut. Don't get me wrong. Um, the guy that originally showed me how to do it always did a straight cut, and I never had an issue. So, as long as you get the straight cut fitting properly, never had an issue. And basically, all I do, I might be blocking it in the other shots. Basically, I'm just holding this wire and, and filing it perfectly flat is all I'm doing. And then you just want to blow the crap out, make sure there's nothing in there, just only small. And when I'm doing that, all I just, just tap that edge in because you don't want to round that edge. That's it, pretty simple. 
So uh, I'm gonna throw this in the wash for a few minutes, um, give it a real good rinse and blow dry, and then I'll meet you guys back um, and we'll do uh, some measuring on valve heights and all that type of stuff. Um, but I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, uh, so I'm gonna call that a quits on this one. So basically all we did was just, I cut the, the O-rings in the head um, and then we installed the O-rings in the head. Um, so we'll call it good on this one. Uh, like, subscribe, comments, hit me down below. And I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, share with your friends, share with guys that you like, share on pages. Uh, you know, I wanna get this thing rolling, um, you know, so I can do more for you guys. All right, take it easy.